Hi, I'm Dave Robinson, and welcome to another one of my screencasts where I'll be using R to analyze data I've never seen before. As usual, the data set comes from the Tidy Tuesday Project, which is a great uh, weekly online project run by the R for Data Science online learning community. So, let's take a look at what this week's data set is about. Simpsons guest stars. I really, um, uh, that's really cool. I'm a big fan of The Simpsons, and uh, I... It looks like we're going to have season, number, production code, episode title, guest star, and the role as to whether they play a character or themselves. Uh, I think it's going to be really, uh, really fun. Let's see. Uh, all right. I'm going to go into an RMD. I'm going to save it as Simpsons Guests. Sure. And uh, do library tidyverse. Also set to my favorite ggplot2 theme and load in the Simpsons data. I wonder if I'll be bringing in other Simpsons uh, data into here. Um, might, might look online and see if there's other ones um, ones out there too. So let's see. All right. Uh, what we've got here is got one row per, for each guest star. I wonder if any guest stars have appeared multiple times. I love counting column when you have categorical data. I'm sure some have. Oh, so I've appeared a... All right, so hold on. Are these... Oh, yeah, Phil Hartman, I guess, is... Uh, so Phil Hartman um, uh, was a really... Uh, was was generally a famous actor, but he was, I guess he wasn't in every episode. I think he's known for roles like Troy McClure. Um, and who is Marsha Wallace? Wallace in The Simpsons... Who is Marsha Wallace in The Simpsons... Oh, she was she was uh, Mrs. Uh, Krabappel. Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't realize she was a um. And Joe Mantegna is F Fat Tony, and uh, Kelsey Grammer is Sideshow Bob, I think. And yeah, you have um other well known other uh, guest stars. So I also curious like, and then there's a question of do they play themselves or do they play, um, Ah, so I see it's 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 role is another is another column. So you have like ah, that makes it a little bit easier. Um, and Nicrobopol played uh, played by Marsha Wallace, and then Germantini as Fat Tony. Kelsey Grammer always plays Sideshow Bob. Phil Hartman plays both Troy McClure and the lawyer Lionel Hutz. And um, hmm, view through this. Jackie Mason plays Crest the Clown's father, and. Uh, Mona's, uh, Glenn Close plays, um, the Homer Simpson's mother, I think, and, uh, all right, so, so the, the character who appears most often as himself is, uh, Stephen Hawking played himself in four Simpsons episodes, looks like, and I knew, of, I think, at least one, but, uh, all right, so let's, let's actually ask that a moment, who played themselves the most? There's all gonna be himself, I'm gonna say there's himself and herself. Ah, so even if up oh, no here it is yeah, uh, we have himself or herself. Uh, is there any is there any other um, name themselves that I might be missing? Tact uh, role. Nope. Uh, oh no wait yeah here it is. Himself playing Homer. Uh, Blink One Eighty Two as themselves, like bands would pl like behind and it would, would play themselves. All right, and um, I'm seeing if there's any other uh, examples of um, count rule. There's a lot of there's a lot of like variety here. Uh, so and so on, so on, so on, so on. Uh, generally. Generally, if it has the word selves or self, okay, self or selves, I'm going to count it as themselves. Okay, so to notice I was doing this because I want to make sure I included 19 cases that something like a band or a group played themselves. Uh, so I'm going to make sure I include them and say mutate, uh, mutate self is... String detect self is string detect role if it includes the word self or selves, uh, including if it's like themselves playing someone or so on. 
uh, I'm including I'm including that. Why do I do that? Because I might want to say filter for. I'm going to in fact add that as a cleaning step to the data. And then I'll filter for self. I'll count by guest star. And say who plays themselves the most. Well, I'd want like a filter n greater than 1. And say guest star n geom call Coward flip and throw in. I really need to create a snippet for this. I do this kind of graph a lot. That's a bar plot that is not uh, ordered. Uh, and uh, guest star by n. All right. So the I would add this as who who has played themselves in multiple Simpsons episodes. Cool. So we have we have uh, Stephen Hawking, Ken Burns, and Gary Coleman is the only people that have played themselves in more than two episodes. And then a lot of people that have played themselves in exactly uh, in exactly two episodes. Uh, all right. That's not, that's something um, something we learned. But a lot of other people have played themselves in like one uh, episode at a time. But that's that's cool. All right. So I'm gonna look for a second. I'm curious about a lot of things. I'm curious about if the frequency of guest stars has changed over time. Um, I'm just thinking of a few ways we can try and uh, we can try and visualize. We, we, we can try and, and, and look into this. Uh, there's also, like I said, people like uh, Marshall Wallace that are sort of guest stars, but sort of also series regulars. Um, and what I'm going to do is count. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find out who appears the most. Guest star, mostly as um, mostly as characters, not as themselves. Uh, so like, um, Marshall Wallace appeared in 156. I'm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Should I do it on the guest, the star, the role, or the um, or the or the character? I'm gonna start by doing it on the role. Add count role. Ah, so here's one where we see. Oh, there's a semicolons are an issue here, because here the Dedeker of Apple, but also another character. I wonder how often we see um, semicolons, because if, if someone had want to handle them a slightly different way. Uh, and fairly often. All right, then what I'd want to do for that is do a what's step called separate rows, uh, where I'd say I want to separate anytime there are multiple in the roll column, separated by a semicolon and a, well, a semicolon and uh, two spaces. Huh. Yep, looks like semicolon and two sp and wait. No, in some cases it's one space. In this case, it's two spaces. What that tells me is I probably want to do semicolon and some number of spaces. All right, notice this is a separate rows um, where it'd say, ah, we have actually two appearances here, the same guest star of different roles. And now I can add count role. And um, yeah, and now we can see the number of times each, um, each guest uh, star character pops up. So if I did a count of role, I'd see that most characters appear only like uh, there's himself, herself, a couple popular characters, and um, uh, then themselves. I'm going to use those eight, so I'm going to say add count of roll, filter, n is 10. What I'm going to do is now count the season and the roll. And now I can actually say like, ah, oh, this is the number of times um, each role uh, each role appeared in each season. And then I can do a visualization when I say season n faceted by uh, geom call and faceted by role. So I can see eight characters. I probably want only I want to compare them all. Uh, to each other, maybe stacking them on top of each other is the way to go. Eh, I don't know how I like that. That's eh, all right. And um, 
Oh, uh, look at that. Season is in a funky order because it has movie. So I'm actually going to want to clean that. Fair so, so notice it's actually character. I was like, why is Trimmer Clear appearing at the end? Because this is a character vector. I would need to do season is parse number season. And then we'll get an NA on the movies. So here's how we can see uh, that people playing them, uh, themselves are pretty common. Uh, himself, herself, where's themselves, themselves, uh, for, throughout the show's run. The themselves actually looks like a lot of, I guess, the, the band guests, the musical the guests that are playing themselves, more common in the first half than the second half. Phil Hartman died in, I think it was 1997, so that's why Troy McClure stops appearing. Um, but, uh, and, um, uh, Ms. Krabappel uh, and uh, Marshall Wallace died in 2013. Um, I'm going to order this a bit better. Let me see. I'm going to run in a, let me see, mutate roll is FCT reorder roll. And by sum, the totals are what I kind of care about here. Negative N, have it go in descending order. All right. And here's and we see is like some people like um, Sideshow Bob appear rarely more than once a season, and not in every season, but in many seasons. And uh, yeah, similarly, character like uh, characters like um, Fat, uh, Fat Tony, we see Troy McClure just pretty after the first two seasons. Is this the right way to visualize that? Well, if we have this many, hmm, maybe it was the, maybe doing end call one wasn't as great as I thought. Eh. This is, this is one um, solid way. Uh, we could have done a line plot, but I think it's a bit too many characters. I could have done it. Let's include a few more. Hmm. Yep, all of these are ways we could visualize it. All right, that's some things. That's uh, some things we learned. Frequency of, of Simpsons guest stars appearing, uh, guest roles appearing by season. What else can we uh, can we find? Something I'm curious about. I'm curious about comparing to things like um, episode ratings. Uh, it's going to be confounded by um, by effects over time. But let's look at something. Simpsons data set rating. Episode ratings. I think I've seen this post before. Seems really uh, cool. All code used on GitHub. I wonder if the data is on GitHub. Let's see. This is what I do. Sometimes when I when I've gotten an interesting point of analysis, I've learned a few things about it. I'm sometimes kind of curious, like like who's played themselves, what characters appear the most, and when in the show they appear. Uh, I find myself interested in, in looping in other uh, sources of data. We have things like the um, like the production code that we can use that will be consistent across multiple data sets. Um, so we might be interested in, let's see, all this processing, all these things. Nah, I don't want to look from it, from it here. I want to look at the data. I want to look at a data set. Aha. Nope. Maybe it was removed for... I wouldn't be surprised if that would move for copyright reasons. Here's an image data set. I don't want an image right now. Dialogue from all the seasons. Okay, I don't know if I... I don't know how this stayed up, but I'm going to download it. Do I have an email? Do I have an email? Do I have an email? I think so. All right. That's fun. Nope. I'm going to sign in with Facebook. Let's figure out what I did. Yeah, I, okay, cool. Let me see. Oh, 
All right, so bringing in Simpsons Dialog. I'm going to see if I can link these two data sets. Bringing in Simpsons Dialog. Hmm. Doesn't even include the episodes? Lame. Uh, hmm. I think I'm still doing some interesting things. I, yeah, so I don't really know. Uh, this is, I think, a curious... Uh, uh, visual, uh, kind, of, uh, kind of data set where it has the text but not doesn't look at the episodes. But because we have these um, guest stars, we can actually th this will allow us to bring in each each uh, guest star's um, words uh, at least if they're if they're like written the same way. So this actually this could be pretty interesting. Okay, so I'm going to take this um, Simpsons data set of uh, this data set of, of lines used from the um, uh, from the Simpsons. Maybe it gets around copyright by being in, in a random order. Ah, I don't know. Um, whatever it is, we uh, here, this is what we have. And what if I said semi-join, so like a filtering join where I want to include only the ones from the um, uh, that are the same guest star. So I'm say by rock rock character. I don't like these these names. Uh, let's do role equals rock character text and words equals spoken words words call it line because it looks like they're lines <laughs> I like this. this is more readable uh, all right and then I say let me see raw char equals uh, oh no we can do by roll here it is count roll all right and now we can say we have lines for people like Sideshow Bob, Fat Tony, uh, Lionel Hutz. Where's um, Troy McClure? It must be... Oh, nope, there it is. All right. Yeah, so we... Uh, ah, so Sideshow Bob appears in fewer episodes but has more lines. Now we know what direction we're going to go with this analysis. Something along the lines of lines per episode for uh, guest uh, characters. So Sideshow Bob, when he appears, tends to take over a whole episode. Uh, that's a, that's a, um, I don't know if anyone who's not the Simps a Simpsons, uh, not at least a casual viewer, is bothering to watch this screencast opposed to waiting for the next one but if, you, if you're not uh Sideshow Bob is a guest character that um that often appears for, as a villain for a whole episode whereas Troy McClure is more of a running joke who will appear for a, one minute at a time um and ah so now I can say so I join the uh by uh let me see by roll and then we can say uh and then if I, I hmm I wonder, are there any characters that we're really missing in our data set count role who are not in the dialogue data set? Uh, could be for a lot of reasons. Could be that they're spelled differently. Could be that the the data set doesn't covers a different range of time. Uh, okay, so Edna Krabappel is probably rephrased as Mrs. Krabappel, and that's one that's going to be so himself, herself, themselves. Of course, are different. Ah, but that actually makes me consider that, that for this join, I'm going to want to say, let me see, so I'll call it roles processed, guests processed, really. Simpsons, I'm going to want to rephrase, uh, to change this role, we'll say, mutate, uh, change the role to be if, else, self, uh, if, if, um, if it's self, then replace it with the guest star. Otherwise, um, keep it as the uh, as the role. So then we can see uh, if I looked at like uh, the ones that are self. Uh, it, it replaces Larry King or Ringo Starr or so on with the um, with the person pl uh, playing them, and that might link it up a little bit better. So what we could then say is take a look at guest process count role. We have Miss Krabappel. We have some other some other names that certainly things that include semicolons. Uh, do I still want to? Yeah, I think I want to run that separate rows line again for guest process. And I, so, you know, this is a cleaning step I do when you join two data sets. It's really good to do an anti join. Find what are the common things that don't appear. Various animals, what, uh, whatever. So Stephen Hawk. So. 
we don't have any dialogue from Stephen Hawking. That that would be an example of where I would have expected um, dialogue to pop up. Uh, but yeah, lots of other things to miss. But really, Edna Krabappel, Edna Krabappel, I bet pops up in the Simpsons data set. Uh, filter as Mrs. Krab as Miss Krabappel or string detect roll. Ah, no, it's long. Ah, okay. So save as Edna Krabappel Flanders count roll. All right, I'm going. Ah, right, yes, because um, uh, Miss Krabappel marries uh Ned Flanders, I think, at some point late in the show, and um, I'm going to replace that. I'm gonna in, in guest process. I'm gonna say, gonna rename in the guests or rename it in the dialogue. It's the side. All right, I'm gonna rename in the guests process. I'm say role equals if else. And do a replacement. Nope. Oops, uh, or roll. Could have done an FCT re um, recode there. There are a few approaches I could use. Um, where's the antidote? There it is. Okay. Having fixed that step, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it. Um, uh, I'm just I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go with this this data set. I'm not gonna keep cleaning it uh, just to combine the two data sets. Okay. Why did I um? Why was I doing all of that? Well. I'm interested in like linking up things like average number of lines per um, per per episode for guest stars. So like, what's the distribution of guest stars versus guest roles? Uh, all right. So then if if I and I don't know like what years this appears. Dialogue from twenty seven seasons, and I think we have. Do we have thirty in the Simpsons data? Ah, right. Uh, replace with as numeric. Yeah, we have 30 in the Simpsons data. So I'm going to filter season less than... Oh, um, I'm going to process the season here. I'm going to say season equals parse number season. Don't need that here anymore. And I'm going to say seasons in the first 27. What am I missing here? Oh. Why don't I write this? Dialogue. And let me see. I'll say dialogue and dialogue and guests processed. Here we go. Okay. So then I can say here's all the so in total in guest process we have 1285 uh, in the first 27 seasons and I wonder how many do we have. We have all right for two for most of them we can find the um, the associated dialogue. Uh, not all. Uh, I'll leave it be. I think it's it's um it's plenty here. Uh, so what I want to do is then aggregate some of this data. I can say group by Guest star and role. Number of episodes. Number of episodes is um, and just be n. I guess you can't appear more than once in an episode. So we can say here's how many episodes they appeared in. And is there anything else? No, I don't. I actually just want the number of episodes right now. So I can say guest star, role, and um, eh, no, I'll, I'll have to do. I'll do. I'll do. First season, min season. Last season, max season. It's always uh, kind of neat to go with uh, to do that kind of aggregation. And uh, I'll throw in whether they're playing themselves. Helpful to have. Okay, that's how we can say uh, Marshall Wallace played herself a house 153 episodes. Okay. So, so this is guests summarized. And the other side of the, the coin is that I'm going to be looking at the, the dialogue and summarize the dialogue. So start with group by role. 
And I'll say number of lines is n. Dialog summarized. I could also have just then count. Am I going to do that? Yeah, I'm going to do count roll sort equals true, name equals nb lines. Kind of shorten some of these steps. I do these two so that I can interjoin them. So I can say guest summarized, interjoin them with dialogue summarized uh, by, by role. Is that right? Okay. It also tells me I need to get rid, I just remember, some there are some roles like narrator that could be played by multiple people. I don't want those to get um, linked in. So I'm going to take guest summarized, take a quick look after an ungroup counting the role and say, yeah, anyone who's played by multiple people, the multiple people played Bleeding Gums Murphy? That seems odd. Uh, well, if so, I'm going to go ahead and ungroup or do it differently. I'm going to group by row. Filter, you must have exactly one row. Ungroup. See, we do all this cleaning for the reason of having like one row, one row for each word, for each row, one row, one observation for each role, along with a guest star that played them, whether it was them playing themselves. And we take this and we look at, um, let's see, combine the dialogue, and then we say, here's how many lines they had. So, Mrs. Krabappel appeared across 153 episodes with 739 lines, at least according to the data set we downloaded. And now we can add lines per episode, our NB lines divided by NB episodes. So, here we can see, like, um, uh, uh, Ms. Krabappel and uh, Troy McClure Lionel Hutz, each of these had around five lines an episode uh, that they were in. Each of these tend to be, um, like their, their joke at uh, Mrs. Krabappel was a, is a teacher, Troy McClure is a, just appears for a couple lines to do like an informational uh, movie, uh, and um, Lionel Hutz is a, is a, a terrible lawyer. Uh, so each of the um, each of these characters generally has like some jokes in an episode. That's in contrast to Sideshow Bob or Mrs. Nahasa Pima Petalon, who's um um up whose wife, and who tend to if they're in an episode, they tend to be a major part of the plot. Same with uh, Mo, uh, uh, Homer's mother, Mona Simpson. Uh, so within these characters. What I'm noticing is like is there maybe it turns out there's going to be a kind of bimodal distribution of lines per episode. So here's what I'm going to be um, uh, interested in. Uh, so we're going to call guest roles. Uh, it would be kind of neat if we histogram it, and it turns out there are two peaks. One for your your joke, they show up for have a couple lines, and that's the joke, and then a second for your um, like major part of the of the uh, episode kind of characters. So let's take a look at it. If I visualize, if we look for bimodal distribution, I'm usually looking for lines per episode as a oh, nope histogram. Oops, there's uh, some bad data here. Someone with oh, NA. That's gonna that's gonna be an NA, I think. If I say filter is NA roll, <laughs> yeah. So this this one is some junk. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and filter not is NA roll. So I don't see a bimodal distribution. I, what you really see is kind of like a more of a skewed distribution. I guess partly because uh, some character had more than 100 lines an episode. Uh, I'm curious for that if we did a range descending lines per episode. Uh, Matt Dillon has... There's characters in particular... See, in a couple of episodes, just had a lot of episodes, I guess. That, or there are multiple, or, uh, ah. So some of these are sufficiently vague. Wow, Lady Gaga had played herself in one episode and had 78 lines? Huh. Uh, I, was, I haven't watched The Simpsons in a while. Uh, so some of these, like, Clerk, probably Colonel, 
but it's, but it's hard to be sure. Um, are, uh, yeah, so some, some, of, uh, some of these might be vague and, and cover across multiple um, episodes. Warden, probably the same. Uh, so not all of these are, um, are real. Uh, but still a lot of them, yeah, are, are, look like they have, on average, like, 34 lines, perhaps, something like that, it's, that, that seem kind of plausible. All right, uh, so I'm going to take this histogram, and if I show it on a log scale, a uh, logarithmic scale, um, I wonder if, can you see, uh, oh, I should probably... Man, logarithmic scales can be really rough. When like, all right, so this, these are all the characters that appeared, had one line, then disap then um, then disappeared. Uh, so if I said like, filter. Uh, hmm. I'm just thinking there are a lot of ways I could try and find out what are those one lines. Do they make a lot of sense? But I've got an amusing idea. I'm gonna um, what I'm gonna do when I summarize. I've got my dialogue summarized. I'm gonna change that back to a group by rule. Summarize NB lines are N. And I'm also gonna do a second and uh, do an arrange descending NB lines. I'm gonna do a second step where I say example line equals sample one item from their lines. So I get it a random line. I'm gonna give you call it a random line to be really clear what it is. So here's like we have a bunch of ones that are, um, <laughs> I'm annoyed with you. This is Seymour Skinner. I'm annoyed with you, mother. Not just annoyed, angry. Uh, so we get a ra an example of a random uh, line from each of these. Why would I do that? Because then when I do a join, I could filter for who are the people that have exactly one line. Uh, NB lines is one. And uh, uh, select guest star, roll, and random line. And <laughs> I don't, I don't know that much about uh, uh, most of these um, uh, people playing themselves, but uh, it's possible. I don't know. Maybe some of these are. Um, uh, I, yeah, Stephen Wright is a comedian. I think this is one joke that they told them. <laughs> so some of these are comedians maybe playing themselves for one joke on a, uh, on say, a uh, TV. Um, but, yeah. So th this is uh, a bunch of people, play, uh, people playing themselves uh, for one line. All right, so... Uh, hmm. uh, yeah, let's take, so let's take another look at, at um, so is there a bimodal distribution? Not really, more of a skewed distribution. I'm going to drop this uh, log scale, it's a little too confusing. It's like, but it looks like a lot of people have, let me set the bin width here, like explicitly. Bin width zero and, what is it, center equals, I want to say I want bins of size five that are uh, at the edge of zero. What if I want bins of size two centered on one? Yeah, yeah, that seems pretty good. Uh, what this shows is, yeah, most guest stars have relatively few lines. Um, some some have a lot in one episode, but yeah, but generally at the point where you'd have like more than 10, 20 lines, these are the these you'd say are sort of the characters that are actually like playing an actual character in the episode as opposed to. Um, uh, just playing, for doing one or one joke, just being in one scene. Uh, all right, and if I wonder if I did a histogram and I faceted it by where they playing themselves, what would the difference be? That's I had a suspicion the character uh, that the turn looks like it's true. The characters playing themselves tend to have fewer lines. Uh, I want to look at this. I bet is Lady Gaga. Uh, we we just saw a care. Um, uh, guest star playing themselves who has tons of lines. Um, I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to visualize this. And should I include, yeah, I was starting to say, should I only include ones that appear in multiple episodes, but so pe few people have played themselves in multiple, we, as we saw earlier, that I, I think that wouldn't be um, necessarily helpful. So I'm going to say, here we go, fast wrap by myself. Uh, and this is not, this is, not a perfect graph because I'm going to say 
I want to be the fast to have more helpful titles. It's going to say plain themselves plain a character. Here's one's playing them character. Here's playing themselves. Number average number of lines per episode. So I can add a title here. This is kind. Of, this is kind of an interesting uh, fact. It's like most guest stars playing themselves have very few lines. Playing. Uh, most guest stars, especially those playing themselves, have relatively few lines. Lines per episode. That's kind of an interesting uh, conclusion. I want to check out this data point. Anytime you see a distribution like this, and then see like one over here at seventy six, uh, we get a we get a little bit curious. Uh, so as I noted, that's Lady Gaga. So if I searched for like Lady Gaga Simpsons. Uh, American singer-songwriter, um, Gaga guest starred in the episode, playing an animated version of herself, <laughs> uh, critical response, let me see, yeah, it, it just, I think it just generally notes, like, it sounds like she was a major character in the episode, which, man, I wouldn't, uh, uh I'd be surprised it's as many as, like, 77 lines in one episode, but, uh, well, worth, worth knowing. and But then most uh, show up for one or two or three or four lines, um, and, and that's it. Uh, so, um, all right, so that's some interesting things we, um, we learned. Okay, so that's looking at lines per episode. Is there anything... I could look at it, whether it changes over time or something, but I don't think that's actually that interesting, especially as I don't have each, which season each, dialogue, each line of dialogue appeared in in my current data set. All right, so instead what I'm going to do is actually look at what words are used. So if I look back at this dialogue data set, the table that I've created, I could do use the tidy text package. I could say, by uh, me and Julia Silgi, I could say, load of tidy text, unnest tokens, Turn the line word uh, the line data set into words, and then let's say do a couple more things. Remove uh, remove stop words. So remove things like um, like it or was uh, stop words, and then count by role and word. I'll throw in a sort. Though it's not actually that all that interesting. I also need to filter not is in a line, not is in a role. All right, so here's how we can see things like, um, ah, the two, uh, this makes sense. The two most common words used by one character are, um, Homer, are Homer saying Marge and Marge saying Homer. Uh, people saying, uh, uh, Lisa and Bart saying dad, so basically characters addressing each other. But yeah, that doesn't get quite to where we're, we're, we're going in the direction of, um, more we're going to be looking at, uh, uh, we were going to get back to guest stars. I'm also just sort of curious now that I have a Simpsons dialogue data set. Uh, I'm interested in doing some of the things that would, one would do with, with such a data set and say, for example, can I bind TFIDF, a measure of finding the specificity of a role and a, um, and a word, to role and uh, let me see. The uh, I thought Bart mostly calls um, his dad Homer rather than calling him uh, dad. But hmm. uh, saying saying each uh, term is the word, each document is a role, and n is the frequency. And we get this measure TFIDF that measures both how common it is for that person, this word for that person, and how uncommon is is it for other roles. And uh, if I arranged into sending TFIDF, we'd see like. So anyway, this is, uh, some of them are way too, um, specific to particular, uh, to particular episodes, particular characters, and I could start by saying, only look for, I don't know, one that appears at least ten times for one person. 
Bopple's mom. I really don't. <laughs> Baha men saying yuck a bunch of times. Uh, generally, you're probably going to want roles that appear uh, only in multiple. Uh, sorry, only people. Um, so, what I'm looking for. Only. You have roles that appear in multiple episodes, which is a little bit hard to do, or at least have some more than some number of, uh, of lines of dialogue. So, something I could do is say add count. No, I can do a group by role mutate total words is sum of n filter total words. You must say at least a hundred words to be counted in this filter. All right, so there's a character kernel that says the word frontline a lot. Coach Rips says bombardment. Things that I think are, are generally and disco stew saying uh, disco stew is a recurring uh, kind of one joke character who says disco stew talks about himself in the third person a lot, and we're seeing like repeated um, some repeated jokes uh, here, and if if we look even at a uh, sort of a higher threshold, Nelson saying ha ha, or um, Agnes Seymour Skinner's mother saying Seymour. Uh, yeah, so we can, here's where we can really see the idea of like a um, uh, characters mentioning each other or characters, um, uh, yeah, words that are very specific. Lou is, ah, yeah, ah, that's right. That, I was trying to remember who Lou was, and Lou is a, um, is a cop, and, uh, call, and then he keeps saying uh, chief in, nearly, in many lines of dialogue. So what we're really seeing are like, um, yeah, actually when you were looking through it, this is pretty good, TFIDF with, um, with characters. I'm just thinking, thinking how we can, uh, <laughs> all right, the, uh, this is the, the kind of pirate character, Horatio McAllister, and he was always going, ar or yar. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to visualize this because it's a little bit too good, uh, even though it's not technically about this week's Tidy Tuesday data set. I'm going to say, hmm, yeah, if I say, so these are characters that have spoken at least 500 words. Most of these are at least fairly frequent, um, uh, get, uh, like, even if there's uh, small roles. So what I'll say is, let's see, uh, so like uh, recurring uh, joke characters. So I'm going to take... Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine uh, the role and the word, since that's how I'm browsing through these, and say mutate. Only I'm not, I'm not so excited. I'm not so happy that, like, this character gets four appearances at the top. So I'm going to do one more step. Where I'm going to say I only want each role to appear at most uh, once. So I'm going to say distinct. Oh, uh, because it's already grouped by role. I could top n one by TFIDF, and now I've got, oh, and keep, keep it arranged by descending. Then at that point, what am I doing? I might as well just ungroup here and distinct. Oh wait, no wait. Arrange descending TFIDF. Distinct roll. Keep all equals true is a great rule. And now I've got every character, uh, all these characters. What is the um, high TFIDF? Uh, <laughs> so Gary Chalmers is the superintendent, and he goes Skinner, uh, so which looks like they get split up in these um, lines of dialogue. So these are running uh, gags. There's actually um, later. I'm gonna. Sh I think I'm gonna show a YouTube clip that gets across a lot of this. Um, uh, this idea that there's a lot, they have a lot of characters that say, Simpsons has a lot of characters that appear that always say the same thing. Uh, so I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to combine these. So I'm going to say roll word is roll word, and then I'm going to graph them. 55, that's too many. I'm going to look at the top 20, and I'm going to plot what the, um, uh, let's see, I'm going to say, is this total words? There's total words, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to say roll by, uh, roll word by TFIDF. Do the, kind of the same thing I was doing earlier, another bar plot. Roll, sort by roll word, TFIDF. 
<laughs> uh... <laughs> As I just looking at these, it's, I'm, I'm kind of amused. What is Troy? Is that is that supposed to be Troy McClure? I'm a little confused because um, let's see, filter roll equals Troy. The hell is fuzzy? Oh, Susie. Uh. Hmm. Roll word dialogue filter roll equals Troy. Filter string detect line. Look for the word fuzzy. <laughs> okay, uh, so one thing we learn about it is that you can have. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, one thing we learned from this data set is that you can have just one discussion. Fuzzy Bunny's got, <laughs> you know, so uh, we can have just one discussion um, that, it, that, that use the same word a lot of times and no one else really uses much and suddenly it ends up being a, um, a high TFIDF. Uh, so that's something, that's something we can learn from this. Um, we could totally like, like that. Like there are a few ways that we could try and um, and work with this. One is that we could count distinct lines, which at least would be a little a little less sensitive to the same line happening again and again and again. I'm gonna try that just to see if it changes anything. Uh, so if I said like, um, how could I do that? I could before the unnest. So see, right now it's nested one line per roll per word. And what I can do is group by, nope, nope. I can use mutate row number, so say line equals row num, um, line number equals row number. And then here I can, can move it, make it uh, distinct roll line number. Well, really just, we only need distinct one wor word per line. Ah, I'll do per roll. So that I can say, uh, so I don't have to keep all. So that prevents us from counting the same word multiple times from the same line, which, uh, uh, yeah, some people have repeated. So is Nelson ha ha or ha ha? Mm, well, uh, but uh, one thing that does is move. Man, how did Troy get changed to Troy McClure? I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, uh, what was up with the capital T Troy? Something, but something's changed here. Anyway, um, this is pretty. This I think is pretty funny. Uh, actually, this is a pretty uh, fun uh, data set. What's showing is a few people have one character they always talk to. So you have people like Lou and um, Miss Hoover uh, is, is Lisa and Ralph's teacher, and. Um, I'm Lionel Hutz, I think he is something like, Lionel Hutz, attorney at law. Chief Wiggum, Chief Wiggum has Lou. Some people have to have, have um, ways they introduce themselves. Troy says, hi, I'm Troy McClure. Uh, oh, uh, the character uh, Byrne says Smithers or Gill introducing themselves. So then we have people, then we have our running um, gag lines. Things like um, the captain going R or um, the rich Texan, I think, goes yee-haw. Uh, Nelson, Nelson Muntz goes ha-ha. Uh, we don't see Homer going do. Oh, well, Homer also has a lot of other lines like Marge, but even him going um, do, I think, is actually written out as annoyed grunt, which I don't see here either. Hmm. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yes, I was saying. I, I was saying these are some really um, these are some high TFIDF words. So, and it's a really it's like a catchphrase detector. So we'll say TFIDF using. TFIDF as a catchphrase detector. As a Simpsons catchphrase detector. And then I'll throw in here into the subtitle only the, it's 55, take, let's take a look. I, if I, I did the, all this stuff and I'd say it's 55 characters, wait. Oh yeah, here. Uh, let's, let, let me check, count roll. I think it was 55, nope, 53 characters. Oh, so, uh, okay, yeah. Only the 53, I'll say only the 53 characters with at least 
500 words that speak at least 500 words in 27 seasons. Uh, so then I'll note y is pf idf. I don't think we need an x-axis label. I think this is kind of fun. Uh, there's some characters with really high specificity to one particular um, uh, word. That's pretty fun. Now let's return to the guest stars. A few ways we could we could we could bring the data back in. I think one of the simplest. Wow, all of this. I'll call it role word tfidf. Role word tfidf. Filter. Uh, total words. Add the filter. Add the filter back in here. So what I'm doing is I'm creating it once without the total number of words filter, and then once with. Why did you? Why did you do that filter? So that I could say. Let's take our guest roles. No, not guest. Hmm. Guest pro guests summarized. Sure. Take our guests summarized and. Uh, Join and let's filter them for NB episodes greater than one. And now let's interjoin it to our TFID, our role word TFIDF data set by word. Why more than one episode? I just think it's that. If you're in one episode, of course, the dialogue is going to be somewhat specific. Uh, and then we can say what guest stars had particular um, specific had particular specificity uh, of of what of what words they used. How could we do that? We could arrange by descending tfidf. We could distinct roll dot keep all is true. And I thought I filtered for the number of episodes greater than one. Oh, greater than or equal to. Oops greater than one. So uh, didn't I oh, uh, didn't I sort by descending TFIDF? Oh that's IDF. This table is getting very wide. Uh, so what this shows then is ah that's right John Lovitz played Jay Sherman which I think we think is like a, a movie critic and it looks like he had a <laughs> he had a specified word of eh, it only happened once. I'm not a, wait. Something's up with this, with this TFIDF. It should be popping up uh, more than one than, than once. Something is up. Uh, let me look for a second. Roll words filter. I'm not so worried about this one. I'm worried that uh, that it affects other um, characters. All right. Something again. Something is up. Maybe all the other words are stop words. I'm not sure. Uh, filter. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, we only have the line "it stinks" pop up in one one. It stinks. It stinks. It stinks is the only line that we can find from here. If I say filter roll equals. Huh. Well, that's the only line of dialogue we had in this. I don't think that's right. Uh, but all right, and then along with the filter of number of episodes, I'm going to say filter uh, total words. I don't know, greater than a hundred? Sure. All right, so then we mostly see characters talking to a particular person. Things like um, yeah. So this isn't as interesting. I could say guest star role word. TFIDF, but it's not that interesting. This looking at it this way, it's not that interesting. Uh, characters mentioning a particular person like Apu or Monty. It's yeah, and uh, Mark Hamill uh, talking about Luke Skywalker. Um, other cases uh, like that. So yeah, so that's not, probably not. Yeah, in practice, it's not uh, looking at TFIDF of guests. 
is not that helpful compared to just looking at it for characters in general. The kind of characters we've got interesting running gags are usually not the guests. And that means I didn't quite link it back to TFIDF uh, of the TFIDF to guests, but it was kind of a fun visualization. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end with I don't know if it's uh let's see there's you know there's a scene in The Simpsons where they play all their catchphrases uh, and I, I really want to catchphrases I really want to play this yes there was this line where they say something along the lines of um say back to just being you instead of a one dimensional character with a silly catchphrase hey caramba <laughs> Idly hope. Uh. Ha ha! Excellent. If anyone wants me, I'll be in my room. <laughs> We're gonna. <laughs> All right, so that was that was like Simpsons itself was aware. That was it from a uh, season twelve episode. The Simpsons itself was pretty aware that they used um, they relied a lot on character catchphrases. Uh, the the, yeah, the ones they listed were from the first uh, twelve seasons or so. Uh, but twelve? Nope, five seasons. Yes, season five, episode twelve. Yeah, from the first five seasons or so seasons or so, but it looks like there's, there's a lot of characters beyond that. And you actually see some interesting things, like that while uh, Montgomery Burns has a catchphrase of excellent, he uses the term Smithers even more um, specifically to him. All right, so here's some, th that's a bunch of things that we, uh, that we learned in this process. Uh, and uh, yeah, we, we learned some things about um, the number of lines per uh, the number of times each character appear um, uh, each, each lines per character among guest stars whether playing a character or playing themselves we looked at a couple of the common uh, guest stars and how they appear across seasons um, seeing ones that are, were really common early on like uh, Lionel Hutz or Troy McClure and ones that uh, um, before Phil Hartman died and uh, ones that span across a lot of the, the show and, um, yeah, I think there's other things you can imagine uh, someone doing in terms of looking at, I guess you could look at do, do guest stars correlate with, with ratings, but I think you wouldn't, um, that would probably just be too confounded with things like is it, which seasons is it in. Um, yeah. In any case, that was some, um, that was some analysis of, of um, Simpsons guest stars and Simpsons dialogue. I, um, uh, I had a really good time. I hope you did too. And I'll see you next week.